Hello, this is the first video I've ever done on this channel, so everything's going to be made up as we go along, I'm afraid. So, um, just a quick update um, the ferry for Spain has been booked, uh, and I'm due to sail over to Santander on the 1st of May. So, I've got another few weeks yet before I go. The intention is to um, leave around about the 14th, 15th of April and to do a bit of touring around the UK and then head down to Portsmouth for the ferry for the first. Okay. Now in the meantime, obviously, I'm going to try and keep occupied and do some filming and um, put it on the channel just to keep things moving along until the actual trip itself. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do today is I've decided to do um, not a review but just tell you what I'm taking um, in my first aid kit okay um, it's a big bigger than one I normally take anywhere but because of the distances and where I'll be traveling I thought I would take a few more items with me and have it a little bit bigger so that I can cram a few more bits in there and if I need to pick some things up on the way um, I can and plonk them in here and then into one of my panniers so let's get into it and I will show you what I've got, okay? Oh, one other thing is um, at the end of this video, uh, if there's anything that you can think of that I've not put in here that I should do, or if there's anything that's in here that I shouldn't take, then just let me know, comments below, please. And any feedback, you know, constructive criticism, then obviously that'd be brilliant as well. Being this is the first time I've ever done anything like this. So, okay, let's get into it and we'll open this up and see what we've got inside. Okay, here we go. We have the uh, first case here. Let's, let's get it open and see what we've got inside. Okay, the first thing's first. I'll just go through it as, as it's been packed up just to make life easier. Okay, first off, we have some um what would you call it diarrheal relief um tablets i think it's emodium i think it's called or something like that and this will um obviously help me if i get a stomach bug well not so much a stomach bug but if i um, eat something that doesn't agree with me um and obviously i catch diarrhea uh, for whatever reason okay so that's the first thing on top okay um easy one this is just a um, conforming bandages stretches um, as you wrap it around so that it forms a nice tight seal. Plasters. These ones are a bit bigger but I'm sure I've got some smaller ones within the pack as we go through it. Ah here we are. Um, there we go. I have some strip of just standard waterproof um, plasters that will you know, any cuts, grazes or anything like that, you know, fingers, arms, whatever. Okay. Um, smaller bandage, not quite so wide, but just as long. Another bandage. I've got two rolls of the um, medical tape. Um, this will seal the um, bandages closed for whatever reason and can be wrapped over any bandages as well to form a watertight seal if needed. Another small bandage. This is a hand bandage. It's basically long enough and conforms and wraps around your hand around here and your wrist. There we go, get in frame. Um, so that you can, um, if you strain it, have a cut then you can just wrap this around and hopefully keep it clean. These are um, non-alcoholic free, non-alcoholic, uh, non-alcohol free wipes. So that um, for cleaning any cuts, blood, things like that, these will get things clean before you apply the bandage. That's another one. Now, because I do suffer from, and I will show you all of these, hang on, let me get these out. I do suffer from headaches. So we have some paracetamol, 
I always carry some of some as, as well as some of them being in my first aid kit. I do have some in my um, handlebar bag as well, so I can get to them quite quickly. This is ibuprofen and this is paracetamol. Wound dressings. These, obviously, if the wound is bigger or and I burn myself, um, they're really padded to give you know as much comfort to your cut or bruise or whatever you've got if it's needed plaster this is a triangular bandage sling basically so if for any reason you need to um, have your arm in a pin sling if you <laughs> hopefully not but if you've broken it or you've sprained your shoulder wrist elbow and it's really bad and obviously this conforms to your uh, body in the form of a triangular bandage and it has two um, safety pins in there as well to help put it together. Spare safety pins. More plasters. These ones are all in a watertight plastic container. These ones are waterproof as well. So that, you know, if I have to put my hands in water or I have a wash, etc, etc, it's going to not get dirty and not get um, not get wet as well. Okay, in the other side, we have a pair of scissors. Just standard, you can use them for nails, for cutting clothes or anything if you need to cut around a wound. Um, and, well not actually cut around the wound, but actually, you know, cut any material that you need to. And for nail trimming as well at the same time, because once you're on, obviously, when you are out on the road for a long time, everything still grows, your nails, your hair, etc. So now trimmers. Antiseptic wipes. These are based um, on the non-alcoholic ones, but these have alcoholic in them and they're antiseptic as well. So obviously it will bloody sting, especially if you've got a cut or graze, etc. But it will help keep it clean or get it clean before you apply any bandage or plaster. More plasters, more plasters. Um, this is a sticky bandage. Um, what it is is you peel the back off, and then it's like it's like a giant plaster, but more for for burns and things like that. It's um, how can I put it? Padded in the middle, sticks over, um, and then it sticks down. Then that way you don't have to have a bandage on it if you don't want to. You can just have uh, this on the top again, it's waterproof. The only thing with these is being waterproof is they are also don't let any air through or in or out, so they need to be taken off at the end of the day to let the wound breathe and dry, etc. Um, and then perhaps replaced with a um, a breathable bandage or a breathable dressing, just to make life easier for you. Okay, this is a tick removal tool. Um, obviously a lot of countries, well even our own in Scotland especially, uh, we have ticks. Um, this just is a removal tool for it, um, for the little buggers, uh, to get them over. So that'll be something that I'll have to be checked for regularly to be on the safe side. Normal pair of scissors with rounded end. This is more for cutting the bandages. Um, and any clothing that may need to be cut because of whatever incident has happened. Um, so if you have to cut a trouser leg or sleeve an arm or whatever to get to the wound more easily, then that's what these are for. And that's it. That's my total sum of my um, first aid kit that I'll be taking on my trip. I will lay it out and I will take some pictures of it as well and I'll put them at the end of this video just to give you an idea of what I've got um, and the quantity. And again, as I said at the start of the video, if you have a look, uh, no, not if you have a look, but if you have any comments as in, is there anything I'm missing, anything I should take, then please leave comments below and then I can look at them and think, oh yeah, okay, fair enough, I'll, I'll need that and then I can go and get them. Again, if I've got too much of something and you think I don't need it, 
Again, let me know and then I can remove it and make room for something else that I actually do need. Okay, so that's the video. Thank you very much indeed for listening. Um, and if you've got to the end of this, brilliant. Thank you very much indeed. And I'll catch you in the next video, which will be hopefully in the next week or so. Thanks very much.